All right, Stover here, and in this video, obviously, we are going to discuss stoichiometry, stoichiometry, but I'm going to give you, before we touch any uh, questions, I'm going to give you the every time flow of stoichiometry. This is what you do every time, every time. Without exceptions, you do this every time. Okay, so say, for example, we are going to do, and remember back here, I said there were four types of stoichiometry, basically four types of stoichiometry, and I think I erased that one. So I'm just going to say this type of stoichiometry is going to be, um, let's say we're going from uh, grams... We are given grams, grams, and that's going to be substance A, okay? And we're going to go to grams of substance B. We want to know how many grams of substance A it's going to take to get a specific amount of grams of substance B. We're relating the two substances through stoichiometry. Okay, so this is the process every time. You go, and this is the setup, you go from grams, say we're given grams A, okay? We're given grams A, so you go from grams A, and you are going to convert that to, so grams to moles a, okay, grams A, and whatever you have on top, you have to have on bottom, so it's going to be grams A to moles A. So we got three A's here. We got grams A on the top, grams A on the bottom, moles A on the top. Now our next step is going to be to go from moles A to moles B. Moles B. So how we're going to do that is we're going to put another line. And on this bottom, we have moles A, because whatever you have on the top, you have to have on the bottom. Moles A to moles B. Okay? And then once you have, uh, once you've uh, got to moles B, then you go from moles B to grams B. So A A B B. So you would set that up like this: moles A. So then you have moles B to grams B, and we have. We have achieved our end result going from A to B. Let me show you that, write that clearer down here. If you are given grams, grams A to moles A to moles B to grams it's just a simple bridge, a simple movement. Step one, two, three, four. Easy, 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 easy. And just remember what this looks like right here because this is going to be the form that we follow every time. We don't even have to do math until the end. So let's do, uh, let's set that up. Say, for example, we are given moles. So we're going from moles uh, moles A to grams B. Now remember our step is always to go from grams to moles and then from moles A to moles B then to grams B. 
So we are given moles, we're not given grams. And so we are going to be able at that point to skip this step and just go moles A. Let's move that down just a little bit. Um, move it down here, boom. Moles A. Uh, and we want to go to moles B. So we are going to put moles A on the bottom because that's what we've been given. And we're going to put moles B on the top. Remember, here's how that went before. So we went from uh, grams A to grams A to m uh, moles A right? And then from moles A to moles B, and then from moles B to grams B, okay? So we went from, uh, this is our traditional every time step, right? So we can cut all of this out right here, because we are already given this in our equation, moles A. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like in a written equation. So we can cut all of this out. These are our steps every time, right? Grams to moles, moles to grams, okay? And gra moles A, so you're going from A to B. As substance A is what you have, and substance B is what you need. Okay, so we can cut all of that out and just set it up like this. Moles A uh, under moles B. And then we can take this moles B to grams B. It's pretty simple. So we went from there from moles to grams, right? The first one we did, we went from grams to grams. Remember the four types? Then this one we did, we went from moles to grams. And we could do it various ways. Uh, we could do from grams to moles. And that would look like this. If we were just going from grams, say we're going from grams A to moles B. So grams to moles. Remember our steps? Our steps is this, grams a, this is every time, grams A to moles A. From moles A, we go to moles B. And from moles B, B, we're going to go to grams B. Okay? This time, we are given grams A, check, check, right? And we are asked to go to moles B. So we can cut this step out this time. We just basically flip-flopped our problem last time. And so here we are. So how would we set that up? We would just simply set it up like this. Grams, grams A on the top, and then grams A. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a little bit. To moles A, and then we would go from moles a to moles B. So we're still going from grams to moles. Now we don't have to go back to grams. We don't have to figure out the amount of grams. We're just asked to find the number of moles of B. So remember, every time you are going to go, and this, this is something that you should jot down, and I'm going to put it right here. This is your general and I call it the fence. I call it the, let's change the color here. I call it the stoichiometry, stoichiometry fence. And by fence, I mean something that you kind of jump over, bounce over. So you're basically always going to, uh, and I say always on purpose. So let's, let's do it in this, let's do it in orange. Orange is bright enough to see. This is, you should jot this down, take a screenshot. So you are always going to go 
unless you don't need the step and you'll know when you don't need it. But this is the general, the, the overall every time steps that you can choose from. But it always happens like this. You're going to go from grams A to grams A to moles A to moles A. And then now we're going to make the jump moles B into moles B into grams B. And this is a simple gram to gram, gram A to gram B conversion. Okay? So you see the relationship. This is grams A, and then this is grams A, and how grams relate to moles A. And then how do moles A relate to moles B of substance B? And then how do moles B relate to grams of B? Okay? So that is the stoichiometry fence. Every time you're going to go from grams to moles, moles A to moles B, and then moles B to grams B. B. Now, sometimes, like I said, you're not going to need, let's take some of these arrows out. Just depending on what they're asking you for, sometimes you'll be able to cut this step out right here. You'll be able to cut this whole step out right there, gone. And then you'll just go from moles A to moles B. So sometimes you can cut those steps out, right? Sometimes you can cut... Uh, these steps out right here boom you don't need to know the grams of b sometimes uh you uh you can cut um all of this out let's say we can cut this out because all we want to know is how many grams uh are equal to the moles of a so there are multiple pathways that we can use to do stoichiometry but really, stoichiometry is super easy when you understand that this is always, always the process. Always the process. So take this down, put this into your memory banks, into a screenshot. This is your process every time. Anyway, um, that was the simple um, process that we're going to take. And we'll come back and we'll begin to work on some problems. <laughs>